Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today it's still the Witches Festival 2019 for ESO, and I wanted to do a video about the style pages. It's a really cool outfit. It's the glimoral weird style pages. They're not really motifs. You can't craft other armor with them, but you can wear them yourself. As you can see, I'm wearing everything right now, and I've got the staff which the lightning staff does this when you pull it out on my back bar just does a kind of a resto staff look and stuff I don't know why this is also a lightning staff but when you change weapons your front bar will have that maybe it's because I have lightning splash and wall of elements uh, slotted for my skills so I'm gonna show you the style pages what they look like I'll go to my outfit station equipment so with head as you can see, it's very cool. The head has these antlers, and then the shoulders are kind of these feathers. And then the I wear the robe. The other one is the jerkin. I'll put that on. Hold on. So if we go here to, it'll be in the bottom. Yeah, this is it. That's what the jerkin looks like. Oh, sorry, no, that's Lilith. <laughs> No, no, no. So this is Glamoral Weird Jerkin. If you don't like the way the robe looks, you can wear that. And also, you, you'll be able to see the legs. Because these are the pants and the shoes. Just kind of let your toes stick out. I'm not sure. This is Argonian, so we're not really sure. If you're on another human character, if he'll just have his feet. Or if those shoes actually have, like, uh, claws on them not really sure but I, like I said I like the robe yeah this is what I wear for that and the shoulders are these uh, sort of like feathers on there on my Argonian I have the Malatar skin so I have glowing eyes and the glowing tip of my tail don't know about the blue marks it's probably a a tattoo that I got in the in the crown store okay and the hands are just basically like uh, what do you call it they're just gloves it's all light armor waist legs feet and then this is the staff it's like a spider web with some feathers on it I really like it this will be my Halloween costume I'll more than likely go back to my other to my other costume which is dead water at the end of the festival let's look at Jamora Jamora is the other one that you're gonna get that'll be like all the way up here at the top there's three different styles because it's a it's an actual motif so let's see okay so this is the hat you can test all these you can just like put them on without spending any money and see what you like if you like it you you apply it. Okay, so the robe will be this is the jerkin. This is the robe. I think the robe looks the coolest. Shoulders. Let's go up all the way. With the motifs you have heavy, light, and medium, so you can just choose whatever you think looks cool. It's strictly cosmetic. Two more gloves. more sash put the legs on don't even need to put the legs on actually because I'm not wearing the jerkin but I'll do it anyway just we'll change back two more breeches and the feet Shoes. And 
more staff. What's this? Okay, so that's Dramor Light Armor. You can see it looks pretty chunky. Not too bad. Kind of a face mask type thing. So this is a Dramor. Those drop from the Golden Plunder Skulls. Okay, so this is the medium. Cops, helmet, jerkin, boots, and uh, bracers. Medium. Pretty cool look for a stamina character. And you can dye it any color you want. Whatever you put it on your armor. Like I said, strictly cosmetic. If you're a stam character, you're definitely not going to have a staff, but this guy is Magicka, so I don't even have the option to do that. Okay, so let's take a look at the heavy armor. Okay, so this is the heavy armor. Helm, Caress, Gauntlets, Sabatons, and Greaves. Super chunky looking. Very cool. Got a horn on there. Very shiny. My colors are set to kind of like very festive. Purple and blacks. Kind of goth look but you can dye them any color you want you can make it gold whatever it looks pretty good so you get all those from the purple sorry not purple from the golden dramora plunder skulls cool thing is you can look at any armor set that you want and then you just press start and accept and everything goes back to normal i had taken my equipment station from my house the other thing I wanted to show you is the video I did yesterday was the Plunder Skull Farm. Now, I did it again this morning. Just want to show you. <laughs> My gear is just destroyed. We did it about 30 minutes. I did it with a guildy. Weapons need to be charged. And I got all these. 26 Plunder Skulls in about 30 minutes. So let's open them up. Which is totem. Got some recipes. Witch Mother Party Punch. Apple Bobbing. That recipe is useless. Totally useless. I made about 10,000 in the 30 minutes. Just selling all the ornate gear and any, any other gear that I got. Those are getting deleted immediately, just along with the apple bobbing parts. If anybody's on Xbox One North American server and you want to farm these skulls, my name's Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-E-Y. Add me as a friend and hit me up. If you need a guild, I can get you into a couple of guilds. Oh, I got the gibbet. The gibbet is a cage. That's it. Lots of motifs, lots of apple apple bobbing parts, and uh, all I need to do is the witch's writs, and I'll be able to get the hat. Well, that's it for today. Just want to do a short video on this cool style from the style pages and show you the Dramora motifs, and uh, we'll see everybody tomorrow. Give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Tomorrow we'll be doing some more farming and different Witch Mother Festival activities. And let's get paid.